Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs. I hope everyone's feeling okay. In this video, I'd like to give you a quick update about the Panasonic Lumix S1H. And if you've never seen this body before, here's how it looks. This is the third model in their Panasonic's Lumix S series. These are full frame mirrorless cameras that all employ the L mount. This is part of the alliance that Panasonic formed with Leica and Sigma that allows all three companies to share the same lenses. And in fact, I recently tested some of the Sigma L mount lenses and they really do provide these bodies with an affordable but high quality set of lenses. Now the S1H follows the S1 and S1R. This is the professional videographer's model. It's got a load of features that uh, will delight you if you are into filming video professionally or at a very, very high level if you're an enthusiast. And today's news is a firmware update, firmware version 2.0, which is available free of charge from May the 25th. And it equips the S1H with raw video recording over HDMI to an Atomos Ninja 5. Now, both of these products will need to be updated. They're both free firmware updates. Here's a Ninja 5. This is a really nice external HDMI recorder and screen. I personally use one of these all the time to record the autofocusing and other menus for my reviews to actually show you what the camera is showing us on the screen. It's really useful for that. But of course, this device's primary use is to record high quality video. And it will do that with the S1H. Now, over HDMI, it will record 12-bit raw video, and the camera can either output 5.9K, that uses the full sensor area, albeit just cropped a little bit into the 16 by 9 shape, and that is available at 23.98 to 30p. If you prefer, you can film 4K in the wide DCI format. That uses a cropped Super 35 frame, but it is available up to 60p or you can record that in a square or four by three shape for anamorphic use. Again, that's based on Super 35 and that is available, it says in my specs up to 50p, but I suspect up to 60p as well. And all three of those are available in 12 bit. Now, these are not being recorded internally with the S1H, they're being recorded externally over HDMI to the Ninja 5. Now, the benefit of that is that the Ninja 5 is recording in the Apple ProRes RAW format, which is easy to edit, and it's broadly compatible with lots of different applications, including Adobe Premiere and Final Cut, so it's pretty easy to get to your footage. Now, the interesting thing is to compare the specifications of the S1H against those that Canon is trickling out for its upcoming ESR. Now, Canon has announced that it is supporting 8K raw internal recording up to 30p, so the same frame rate, but a high resolution and internal as well. However, this camera is not yet available and Canon hasn't announced uh, how long those recording times are gonna be or how it's gonna cool that camera. Whereas the S1H is available right now, you could go out and buy this camera and start filming with it. And with that firmware update at the end of May, uh, you would have that raw output capability. The other important thing to know is that the S1H is currently the only camera in its class to be certified for use for Netflix production. So if you wanna actually start producing shows for that platform, this is currently the cheapest, lightest, and most affordable camera that will let you do that. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking at much bigger, much more expensive systems. Firmware 2 also provides a bunch of additional control and usability tweaks. You can now set the screen to be permanently switched on. You can disable the touch control that would delete all of your files. Apparently this has caught out at least one user. And there's a lot of other things, but check out Panasonic's website for that. The thing I really wanted to let you know about in this video is that the S1H now supports raw output for video over HDMI to a firmware updated Atomos Ninja 5. And look out for bundled deals with the Ninja 5 on the S1H, it is representing pretty good value. Right, let me know what you think of that. Would you like me to talk more about the S1H in the future? It's a camera that I've not reviewed a great deal on this channel or at cameralabs.com. So if you'd like to see more about that camera from me, do let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.